if there are 100 artificial limbs fitted all across the world, 85 of them are Jaipur Foot. That's number one. Number two, Jaipur Foot does not collect even a single pesa from any beneficiary. It is all given free of cost. This does not mean that it comes free. For the beneficiary, of course, it is free, but somebody is paying for it. So this is a very cost-effective foot because a foot which is available from Jaipur Foot on an international scale of the currency at about 60 to 70 dollars and a similar kind of foot all across the world on commercial terms will be nothing less than 10,000 dollars. So we are basically not collecting even a single pesa for the, for the appliances what we are providing to them. It is not just for the first time. But any number of times the patient comes because this foot lasts about five to six years very easily into a regular gentleman or in a growing age it might be requiring to replace every six months time because the child if is growing then the height increases. So and nothing comes as prefabricated. Everything comes to us only as raw material. Our raw material is basically POP, HDP pipes, some of the leather belts and small accessories. So with which we take measurement here at the center at Hyderabad center. After the measurement is taken, a fabrication is done. Post the fabrication, the fitment is done on the patient. And post the fitment, the patient is given a gait training. Because unless we are satisfied and the patient is satisfied, we don't allow the patient to even leave our center unless both of us are satisfied. So this is the whole process of uh, uh, making this foot. This, uh, for doing all these jobs, we don't require basically medical practitioners. We require qualified prosthetic engineers. And we have one engineer and four qualified technicians at Hyderabad Center. And on a day-to-day -day basis, if we have to treat about 10 to 12 people, if a patient is coming in the morning at about 10 o'clock or 10.30, we discharge the patient by 2 o'clock after footing the foot, after giving him a proper training to walk. And Besides the Jaipur foot, we also provide artificial limbs uh, and uh, calipers for the people who are affected by polio. Then we also help patients who are suffering with cerebral palsy, with wheelchairs, and school students who are affected with polio, those who cannot walk, we provide them with tricycles, which are uh, hand pedal tricycles. We also provide the walkers and the sticks and those kind of all appliances which are required for mobility. Besides this, we also provide hands which are kits. And basically, we have to buy the hand kit from Alimco or from any other source. And then we fabricate the whole hand. We have seen in our experience that if it is below elbow, the hand works out perfectly all right. A person can do any kind of job which includes driving, which includes eating by himself, which includes lifting a weight up to 10 kgs of suitcase. So he is able to do all his work as a normal hand. And the hand looks like a very, very natural hand. The skin color, it gives a very, very clear skin color hand. And uh, uh, our foot, which is uh, given by us, is an ISI, ISI and it's a registered uh, trademark of Jaipur foot. The foot cannot be copied by anybody. It looks like very, very natural uh, foot. It is slightly flexible at the toe level so that when a person is walking, he does not feel. And every time when we provide a foot, we also provide them with proper shoes or sandals so that they are covered and they are not visible. And once if, when this foot is covered by a shoe or a sandal, one cannot even make out that a person who is walking on Jaipur foot, whether it is a natural foot or a Jaipur foot in most cases. In some very odd cases, like if it is above knee, then probably he might limp a little bit. But then he is able to discharge all his duties, what is required. At Jaipur and also at Hyderabad branch, we try to rehabilitate people who come to us by providing them a skill development program. In most cases, we employ them ourselves. In fact, if I talk some figures, at Jaipur, 50% of our technicians are handicapped. Either they don't have a leg or they don't have a hand and they still work because then we rehabilitate them and then pay them right salary what they
very rather good afternoon to all of you. Uh, on behalf of Sri Bhagwan Mahavir Viklang Saita Samiti, this is the when the branch was opened at Hyderabad. Uh, and both of them, of course, the other team is at the center taking care of the patients who are there right now. Uh, 